Here are two important concepts that you should know about about OpenAI's newest O1 models. So the marketing headline is that O1 is a model that thinks before it responds. But what does that even mean? The first concept to know about is this transition towards spending more time on inference. So this is a really great graphic that kind of shows you how that has changed. Traditionally in GPT, what you would do is you would pre-train a model to have it learn general knowledge. Then you would go through this post-training phase to get GPT to behave the way that you want it to behave. And then finally, when you ask GPT a question, that's inference. Now in O1, they spend more time on inference. So when you ask O1 something, it's going to spend some time thinking about its answer before giving you a response. The second important concept to know about is reinforcement learning with chain of thought. Now reinforcement learning is a concept that's been around for a really long time. In fact, the post-training phase for GPT that we talked about earlier actually involves reinforcement learning with human feedback, where essentially you grade a response based on how well it aligns with human preferences and train the model to get better at that. Now the problem with grading just the output is that the model can't really correct itself. So let's say that it's kind of trying to solve a complicated problem and it's already gone wrong halfway through, it can't actually self-correct. So that's kind of where reinforcement learning with chain of thought comes in. When you ask O1 for something, it essentially comes up with a couple different options. It grades those options, chooses the best option, and then iterates. Now I know that everyone wants you to think that O1 is the newest kid on the block, and it is in fact very cool. However, it's important to note that it's not really necessarily better at everything. So for kind of use cases like writing an essay or writing a blog post, GPT-40 is still very, very good. 